Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. We're in the middle of a solar wind stream right now and it's been, you know, interesting for the last day or so and it might continue for a few more days. So um, there's that. And uh, just while all this is going on, I, uh, I had a thought about, um, well, you may know that I don't use alcohol or drugs or anything like that and I, I attempt to, to have a very pure diet although I don't quite come up to the standards that that I have for myself I'm always trying to do that and I think this is very very important for the ascension process uh, to try to purify the diet because so many change-ups are happening in our physical and subtle bodies as a result of the incoming light that it puts undue stress on our physical form when we don't have a pretty good diet going on and exercise and so forth so so I recommend that in so far as we're able and um, just I had a thought the other day uh, and this morning to do with um, non-optimal diet and toxins in the blood I think uh, when there are toxins in the blood, say through constant alcohol use, for instance, um, so so we're using alcohol every day, let's say, and in that case, um, which is very common here in America, uh, I think what what may happen this is just a guess. It needs to be like um, researched. Is that the sex drive becomes su suppressed or repressed? And, uh, and that leads to less sexual activity, actually. Now, I know uh, people use alcohol as kind of a social icebreaker with the intention, perhaps, to the exact opposite, to, to improve their romantic relations and so forth. But, but my guess is that the actual effect of daily alcohol use is the exact opposite. I think that it leads to repression of the sex drive and uh, sexual inactivity. And I think that the result of that is that at night, all night long, this repressed sexual energy expresses itself through the unconscious thought cloud of the world. And in our own like physical forms and astral forms, it's reflected uh, uh, as it's reflected as dreams that are erotic and so forth. Dreams about uh, about the things that we haven't actually done with our lives that we really wanted to do. That's what I think is it has that effect. And that that is actually the cause of these flare-ups of astral stories that have to do with what they call the V dot 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 D dot 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 syndrome. Uh, some people call it um, uh, astral rape um, and like that, collective astral rape, you know. There are, they, some people call it uh, psychic um, sexual crowding, psychic sexual crowding. Psychic crowding is when a bunch of people in astral form <clears throat> converge on just one person in physical form and like it feels like you know that the the astral form of that person is being crowded and like attacked and like dented the energy field is being dented by like six people all at the same time or four so so that's astral crowding and, and it does happen it has happened in the past quite a lot and for me, at least, it's happening almost never now. So I think for the for the world that that's a thing pretty much of the past. Um, anyway, a lot of people do complain about the unconscious thought cloud of the world, especially re with regard to territorial and sexual aggression. And and this is my response: is that by cleaning up the diet, then we may. Um, we may experience less of this difficulty to which we'd be all becoming much more sensitive as we become more clear and more attuned to the astral plane and the fifth dimension. So, so one reference that I use for that is Judy Satori's website www.judysatori.com 
and searched the term Ascension and You. JudySatori.com. Uh, I think that the reference there is Ascension Plan for You. And there it talks about diet and all kinds of things to do to prepare for the Ascension. For the what they call the, the Second Coming, the Kingdom of God on Earth. And, and what we call new life on new earth. We have the ascension crowd. So um, we don't think about end times, you know. We think about times of new beginning. <laughs> and so so there's that. And, uh, and I hope that helps. That, that helps to ease the ascension symptoms, which are many, you know. And, and create a sense of faith in the process that's taking place. Um, because the end result will be absolutely wonderful for all Earth. All right, you guys, take care. Talk to you later.